Because I was so young, I was always in demand with the customers. It was awful. Eventually, I became pregnant and I was forced to have an abortion. They sent me back to the brothel almost immediately. On January 14, 2011, undercover investigators went into Planned Parenthood of New York City, posing as a pimp and his prostitute. Sex trafficking of minors is a federal crime and punishable by imprisonment for 10 years to life. Any person who aids, abets, or counsels a federal crime to be committed may be punished as if they had committed the crime themselves. The pimp told a staffer and the clinical supervisor that he managed a sex ring of girls as young as 14. Will Planned Parenthood comply with the law? Reassure the pimp that they don't need to know anything. They don't need to know anything. Counsel the pimp to sign as legal guardian of the underage girls to get him a taxpayer-funded discount. My name is so-and-so, and I support yes, this, whatever, whatever. I'm yeah. just putting that contact on him. They don't even call you. They just yeah. ask for contact, contact okay. number, but no one calls you and just sign and date it. some other girls that we manage and work with that they're going to need testing as well. Mm -hmm. So do you guys see them? Or? Yeah, we see them. Team services. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Again, we see okay, people okay. as young as 13 years old. Okay. We see people as young as 13 years old. And everything is confidential. Because they're 14, 15. Yeah. And everything is totally confidential. Okay. They can come in, make the appointments. I can give you guys the numbers. You can make the appointments over the phone. Okay. You guys can come in and speak to one of us and we can set up the appointments. Okay. And if any of you guys can have insurance, we have a family planning benefit program. And mostly everybody qualifies for that. Like it goes based on income. Okay. But like all students, all minors, they get like automatically they will be on sliding scale because it goes from A wow. to D. So sliding scale A is free. And then it just starts going up slowly. Okay. Cool, cool, and then cool. they don't speak English because they just came in. They just That's in home. So bilingual. I'm always here. I speak Spanish. Yeah. And we also okay. have other languages. We have Suricom where we call over the phone. And we have any other languages. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Cool. So how would you recommend for them to best do it? Because we don't want them getting confused or whatnot. And you know, it's kind of a sensitive subject. So mm -hmm. we don't want you know them saying the wrong thing and you know, getting refused or turned away. So how would you suggest they go about, you know, being able to get the access even in spite of what they do, you know? Yeah, like and like I said, everything is confidential. They don't have to tell anybody what it is that they do when they're making the appointment because it's just going to be between them and the physician that they see. Okay. Okay. Just come in, let us know what you want to Like, we do know, need to know what the appointment is for, mm -hmm. but it's going to be testing, abortions, is there any kind of particular pain they're having or something because we also okay. do genome exams. We do annual okay. exams, which cover okay. everything, yeah. or just testing. So we're not gonna ask in specific all that if something burns, something itching. What if they don't? What if they're not a resident? Yeah. What if okay. they're not a resident? They don't That's have fine. Like for our benefit program, they okay. do require that they bring in some documents. But if they don't have it, we just ask that they bring whatever they have. Can just bring. whatever they have. Mm -hmm. Photo ID or something. Yeah, we yeah. ask them to bring a photo ID, yeah. proof of address, proof of income, and proof of that's income. That's the birth certificate. They don't have like a nine yeah, they're not, job. Yeah, you know, they're not so. working, yeah. or they even like work in the after school program. That's considered unemployed. So they can have like a family member, so a friend, or one of you guys. Well, yeah, they're really like, good. You can find somebody. Like, you can find letter. somebody. You wouldn't need Same to know that they work at night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah, no, okay, they do this. None of that. You don't need to know anything. Anything is totally confidential. Just okay. one like you keep like the letter. Say, oh, oh like, good. My name is so and so, and I support this, yes, so whatever, whatever. Yeah. And just put like contact on him. They don't even call you. They just ask for contact, contact okay. number, but no one calls you and just sign and date it. Okay, sure. I do it. Um, whatever you don't have, they could just bring in whatever they do have. And just speak to them, and I'm sure they can work out. Okay. Good. Oh, got it. I think I think that covers a lot. Yeah, a lot of questions. a lot of different situations deal with the foster care, so that you know, kids in foster care can get their hands on their documents 
and true. like that's true. that they're yeah. hiding things from their parents because mm-hmm. everything's all about confidentiality here. See, yeah, you can just say that. You can just say mm-hmm. that. We don't have parents or anything. Yeah. We just came yeah. over yeah. working with yeah. us and yeah. helping them out. Yeah. 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 Keep them safe, you know? Yeah, because like... Can we even sign off as a guardian? Is that possible? If you were writing their support letter, yeah, you could say oh, that okay. you just take care of them, you support them. Mm-hmm. But nothing here, like they're not our patients, we don't ask for a guardian signature. Everything is the patient, like a 13 year old could come in and get the services she needed by herself. Okay, that works. What's your name again? My name is Crystal. 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 Are you a physician here? No, I'm one of the practitioners, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I was wondering, um, I had a, do you have a moment? Or? Mm-hmm. I was wondering, um, so like, like, uh, is, is it still confidential? Yeah. Talk, okay, but like, we're involved in sex work. We mm-hmm. have some girls that are kind of young, know, like 14, 15, that they might need an abortion. Mm-hmm. And how is the best way, should they be able to go about that? They just show up yeah. and set up an appointment. Do they have okay. insurance? They don't have insurance. Some of them don't even really speak that good of English because they, you know, they just got here. So. Right. So we have, and we have an interpretation um, phone, so yeah. they don't speak Spanish. That's not a problem. I mean, if they don't speak English, that's not a problem because yeah. we can have an interpreter. Yeah. We can call them up. We also have staff here that are trained to interpret. Yeah, like someone would like Thai or something like that. So they really don't even speak Spanish. Like. They don't, but we do have a phone system that supports a lot cool. of languages. Cool. That may be one of them. Cool. Um, in terms of insurance, um, they would probably speak to one of our entitlement people to get them set up with okay. some insurance. Okay. Okay. They don't have to be citizens to get the insurance, and it, it is confidential. Mm-hmm. Oh, <clears> there you go. And if they don't have, like, their information and all that? Yeah. You, um, do you have our number to call? Because they could tell you what documents to bring in. I think we did get the card. Yeah, so you call and you tell them that, and they'll tell you what documents to bring in. But it doesn't have to be, like, a green. They don't have to be citizens to qualify. Cool. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's good information. That's good information. I'm sorry, uh, what was your name again? Marquita. Marquita, thank you. Yeah, clinical supervisor. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, thank you. You're welcome.